On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonatus to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. What is going on guys and welcome to another on drop rate episode. If you have killed these monsters before, you already know by the gear I'm using where I'm standing what this video will be about. And probably the thumbnail as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to be killing demonic gorillas. And the item we're going for is actually not the Senite Shard, which you might think would be the case. It's the most expensive item and also the most common. But I think 1 in 300, that's a boring grind. I'm just going to go for the light frame. 1 in 750, meaning we're going to do more than double the amount of kills for the Senite Shard. So we should see one Senite Shard at least. Maybe even two if I go all the way without getting a light frame. And I want to show you guys my collection log for this monster. Look at this. I've got two Senites, two heavy frames, Ballista Limbs and the Ballista Spring in 141 KC. But I do not have the light frame. So getting that would almost complete the entire log. So we can't re really lose here. If I lose the challenge, I do a big giveaway. If I win the challenge, then we almost complete an entire collection log. I actually think last time I killed these demonic gorillas, it was over a year ago. And I'm going to be killing them over here, so I will have to relearn how to actually kill them. I kind of know the basics, but uh, I will probably take some unnecessary damage for a while. But I did actually buy a Saradomin God Sword. It was worth 30 million. So that was quite some investment, but it's really good here. You can use it to hit pretty often with good accuracy. And it restores your prayer and HP, so it will extend my trips by hopefully quite a bit. Now these creatures are very click intensive to kill honestly because every 50 damage you do with a style it starts protecting against it and you only really want to do ranged and melee damage so as you can see every time I do 50 damage it just starts protecting what I was doing so I have to swap over to the other style you swap between ranged and melee basically all the time and the attacks the monster does itself as well is kind of tricky usually how I think it is after three blocked hits with a prayer like I'm praying range right now I block three attacks and then it will swap to either magic and melee and really I think you can somehow predict which one it's going to be or maybe it's completely random regardless I just look at what uh, the animations on the monster is and I swap to that immediately so every time it swaps to another style I tank one hit either a zero or a random amount of damage and then after that I just swap to, to the correct prayer and uh, keep going with the kill. Oh my god! Do you guys know how rare that is? Elite Clue Scroll is the first drop like 20 kills in, that's 1 in 500. You know, this time I'm just going to keep them in my bank, so that is the first casket, and uh, at the end of this grind we will open all of them. If I have more than one, which might even not be the case, but I uh, guess we'll see at the end of it. Dragon Fruit Tree Seeds, they are pretty rare, 1 in 833, but they have good value, so I'm not complaining. Oh, look at that. Ballista Spring, 29k. I already have the collection of item, and it's not the item we're hunting. It's not really worth a lot, but uh, yeah, always nice to see a rare. One in 500. Not really a drop or anything, but kind of a cool thing. I am like two hits away, maybe one hit away from 99 defense if I don't die here. Okay, come on. 5 XP, one more. 12 XP. Okay, there we go. 99 defense. And I think I got one combat level from that, which is pretty nice. I think I'm 124 now. And that means every single combat stat is at 99, except for prayer, which is 82. So sometime in the future when I get a lot of uh, money that I can just spend on prayer, I'll go for 99 there as well. Of course, we can get those as well. Hard clue scroll, the first one of the grind. It's 1 in 100, so I'm expecting to get a couple more of these than the elite ones, but guess we'll see. Oh, there it is. Look at it. Senite Shard. That did not take that many kills. My current KC is a 148. So actually only half the drop rate. I have to price check this. Let's click on it. Uh, if I can click on it correctly. There we go. 15.1 million. We are making money here. 
You have got to be kidding me. What? Second one, like 70 kills later, I think that is. 80 kills, 229k C. Still below the drop rate for one of these. And we now have two of them. We are making some nice money here. Excuse me, how is this a thing? I just got the second one and it's been 11 kills and we got a third one. How much money am I going to make on this? This is ridiculous. We're not even halfway to the end goal of this. We're barely even a third through it. So it's been 60 kills since my third Senite, which is just ridiculous. And that is now 300 KC on the Demonic Gorillas, which is not even the halfway point. Imagine if this keeps up and I get like six of them. Of course, I'm not expecting that, but uh, wow, this has been good so far. Oh, second Ballista Spring, 29.7k. You can't always get Senite Shards. I mean, they are more rare than Senite Shards, but only worth 30k. It's fine. I can't complain. What? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay, that's the first death. I was talking to the Spanish guy, you can see in the chat, and I tried to help him and I kind of zoned out. <laughs> Unfortunate. The halfway point has been reached. 375 kills, you can see on the right hand side there. And we do not have the uh, light frame yet, so we have not won the challenge, but we have made like 55 million GP. Which is quite a lot, so I'm kind of getting scared now, I'm not gonna get it. Oh, that has to be rare. I have the rare drop table right here. It's, uh, oh my god, 1 in 13k almost. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Heavy frame, 200k, that is 1 in 1500. That's twice as rare as the light frame, and I already have it on the collection log. I am getting everything except for the light frame. Oh my god. Just look at this collection log. I have 5 Senites in all these overall kills. 3 heavy frames, which I said is 1 in 1.5k. And we have no light frame. This is getting ridiculous. Another elite? I actually didn't expect to get any because they're so rare. I mean, I can't complain. That's pretty cool. I, I will do all of them, of course, if I can. A third elite clue scroll? I just came back. I finished the other one and I've done like 10 kills. I have never seen this step before. I have to go to the Necropolis Mine? Where even is that? Is it in the desert? Right here. Can I even get here? I've never been there. It has to be because of the new quest beneath Cursed Sands, I guess? Well, it seems like I can't really get in here. I'm trying to find a way in, but I think it's just locked because I need to actually do the quest or at least begin the Beneath Cursed Sand quest, so I don't know if I can do this. I actually looked it up. You only need to start Beneath Cursed Sands to be able to do this, but uh, the NPC where I start the quest is not here, and uh, to be able to even start the quest I need to do Contact, and uh, if I look at Contact, I need to do Prince Ali Rescue. So I have to do quite a lot of things to be able to do this Elite Clue Scroll, and I don't feel like it's worth it. Elite Clue Scrolls are not really worth a lot anyway, so this one is going on the ground. Yo, you have got to be kidding me. A fourth Senite Shard? Oh my god, we're like 530 kills in. That's like one Senite so far every 120 kills or something like that. That is ridiculous. Oh, it's not a Senite, but uh, not complaining about a hard clue skull. Haven't had many of these, surprisingly. Oh no, I can. F okay, I'm going to get so much uh, salt and hate in the comments, man. I cannot believe this Senite luck. This is uh, getting a bit out of hand. I mean, I'm not complaining, we're making bank. No light frame has been seen yet, and we are getting really close to the end here. 700 KC done, 5 Senites, and 90 million worth of loot. Maybe you guys will uh, excuse me if I do not win this challenge, because <laughs> there will be a massive giveaway. This luck so far has been just nuts, so it's going to be interesting to see if I do get the item or not. What do I even say at this point? 711 kills. That is 6th Senite. We're over 100 million now, just from 711 kills. I mean, I knew Demonic Gorillas could be good money, but uh, yeah, not this good. After this Demonic Gorilla right here, we have 3 more kills to go, and we have not seen the light frame, of course. I have been incredibly lucky during this video, I could not have asked for better RNG. 
but that means if we do not get the light frame in the last three kills here, we have some clue scrolls to open and a massive giveaway to do. So meanwhile, I'm killing the last demonic gorilla for the entire grind here. I will talk briefly about how this grind was. Of course, it was super, super lucky and it kept my motivation up getting all these rare drops all the time. The Senite is, I think, the most common rare of them. So you should expect to get them a bit more commonly than the frames that I got. Um, the heavy frame is 1 in 1.5k, which is, of course, a lot more rare than a 1 in 300. But over the course of this entire grind, 700. 150 kills I should have seen two and a half so between two and three senite shards in the entire grind we ended up getting six maybe even seven if I get one from this kill but I'm not going to uh not going to expect that really but uh, we did not get the light frame and that is death runes so that means we did lose the challenge meaning i'm going to give away half of all the loot that i got from this challenge and also everything that we got from the clue scrolls but uh, let's have a look at the collection log and see what the rng looks like so let's go over to other gloves experiments look at that eight senai charts in 891 kills overall for the account three heavy frames which we got one in this video which is the one in 1.5k so that is ridiculous but uh, let's have a look at the end results as always i give away everything that i get from clue scrolls and we ended up getting three hard caskets and two elites so let's start with the hard ones and let's see what we can get i'll have the chat open so you guys can see the value first one is 98k second one 32k and last one 650k that was a lot of money i think that might be the lunar isle teleports let me actually check if this one is worth anything or if it's just the teleports oh my god Sammy Fulham is 560k. Interesting. Let's go for the elites now. Can we get any collection log items at least? First one. Oh my god. That is a collection log item. Rangers tights. That's be pretty rare. But it's only worth 331k for the entire clue scroll. But it's not too bad. Let's go for the last one. Can we get something unique here as well? Oh my. What? That is uh, another unique ND Master Clue Skull and 211k worth of value. Yes, we're going to try to do the Master and hopefully I can complete it. Would you look at that? We could complete the Master Clue Skull, so let's go ahead and open it. Hopefully this will be worth quite a lot and this as well is of course going to the giveaway. So how much are we going to be giving away from the Master Clue Skull? It is going to be 273k, so nothing too special. I have now calculated everything and how big the giveaway is going to be and this is a big one. I will open my inventory here in just a second to show you guys how much it is and in my inventory I also have all the uniques that I got and this is really crazy so let's have a look at this. The giveaway is 54.1 million GP and how you win that is on the screen right now so follow those instructions and you have a chance to win 54 million GP. And just look at all these Senites. This is all the Senites that I got. The Ballista Springs and the Heavy Frame. And let's just have a look. I think those have actually gone down in price. Yes, they are 1.2 million less than the peak. But that is still a lot of money. 82.7 million. The Heavy Frame is 200k. And these are not worth a lot really. But the uh, other drops that I got as well. The Rune items and the overall just herbs and everything. Makes it out to... At the end be a 54 million giveaway which is really nice to do i've been actually waiting to do a nice giveaway for a while now but this is where i'm going to end the video hope you all enjoyed it and until next time guys take care